730 days later, some final barriers are lifting. At my work, they just took that away, like yesterday. They just took that, the mask away. So I feel like that's kind of like the big thing that's left, yeah. That return to a new sense of normal is two years in the making. On March 11th, 2020, World Health Organization officials spoke a sentence that changed the world as we knew it. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. In the days that followed, we saw games canceled, flights suspended, and cities shut down except for essential workers. In Florida, COVID-19 left bars and restaurants shuttered for weeks. Schools and universities switched to e-learning. Then by summertime, masks, social distancing, and capacity limits showed up as places reopened. Things kind of opening up, and I'm like, do I trust it? Or like, I don't know, like it was hard, like, trying to know like what's the right thing to do here. By December 2020, healthcare workers got the first COVID vaccines. Then the rest of the public rollout followed in January through May. Pinellas resident Steve Wadovich helped test the shot in clinical trials. I think it was an honor to be part of it. I mean, really what I wanted to happen is I wanted my daughter to have a normal, a normal college life. And a return to normal took its time. By summer 2021, vaccines became widely available for adults. Some offices returned to work and cruises came back to Florida. Public health experts like USF epidemiologist Dr. Thomas Unash shared some lessons learned. Three. I think what we learned is I think if we ever face something like this again, it's going to have to be, look, we're making these recommendations based upon the best knowledge that we have right now. Changes came and went with health guidelines and COVID variants. But one thing stands out for some in this experience over the last two years. I think judging from people's attitude, I think uh, people have learned that they shouldn't take life for granted. They should enjoy every day. And some locals also shared that the last two years made them appreciate social gatherings and healthcare workers, but they all said they want to return to normal life just like things were before the pandemic. Mark? It really is amazing how we've kind of found so many of us, thankfully, have found ways to adapt, and uh, hopefully we're all better and stronger for it, for sure.